What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video from my channel and today we're going to go back in time, back when technology was not too crazy and we had tape players. Now if you don't know what a tape player is, I'm about to show you one today because I happen to go back in time myself digging through some boxes and I found a whole box of tapes that I had saved since I was a little kid and oh my god there's a lot of stuff in there that i wanted to get into and i absolutely couldn't because i didn't have a tape player so today i'm going to show you a tape player that was pretty inexpensive and also works pretty decently and you can get a couple things done with it so we're gonna get all into the sm336 uh, it doesn't have actually like a brand name but it is the sm336 am fm cassette recorder thank you so much for tuning in dj martini midwest reviews if you've never tuned into my channel just know that i do all kinds of items review items, tutorials, I go look for those deals, find valued items that maybe you don't see a lot of videos on and I try to bring you that information. I do all the research for you so you don't have to. Give it to you as easy as possible and then leave some links in case you're interested in some of these products that we review here on this channel. And I do all kinds of tutorials. I'm just trying to help, just trying to put some information out there and I just thank you for tuning in. So let's get into the tape player that I have today. I did get this off Amazon. It is the SM336. It says it has AM FM radio tape. Of course, it's got a tape player, recording, USB play, SD card play, USB slash SD encoding, an earphone jack, uh, DC six volt, and and takes uh, four triple A batteries if you have needed. Different colors. I have a black one and a white one. I have the white one today and that is about it not too many details on the box this is a made in china product it does weigh it says 406 grams it's not too bad it, it does take four double a batteries but it also comes with a dc six volt uh, plug ac adapter as well it has a built-in microphone it has an ear jack all those types of things so nothing really fancy about this at all it actually looks pretty generic but let's get to the product the tape player here and actually I still have it plugged in so we'll unplug it like I said in the white here it looks pretty cool actually I was pretty impressed when I saw it It does have some weight to it we're gonna talk about that in a second it does come with a little manual the manual is just enough to get by nothing fantastic a uh, little warranty card right here it does come with the outlet uh, we'll grab this right here uh, I would say this is about a four foot cord and this is the six volt outlet here that comes with the item so you can plug it in or you can use batteries I also have batteries in this at the moment so it will right work here this is the SM336 you can see everything will give you a nice walk around on here you got your speaker right here you got AM FM radio got your tape player you got some controls here for your using the USB drive or the SD you can see that you have next back forward pre next record play pause and your USB slash record button uh, light you have a volume on the side you got your buttons up top eject stop fast forward rewind play record you have a selector up here for usb your tape i believe that's the radio and then of course your amf selection on the back you have your antenna of course for your amf radio and you have like a little like prop so you can kind of tilt it up kind of cool there little venting on the back your batteries go right here and like i said i do have some batteries in there it does take four it is portable it does have some weight to it which is surprising but it is portable uh, you do have a very long antenna so you can pick up decent stations if you have it outside inside wherever you're at um, it does have your eject right here And sometimes 
I think the only issues that I'm really having with this tape player, everything looks good inside, is the hold right here. Sometimes it's catchy. It's working perfect now, but sometimes it will maybe not open. It's working perfectly as I'm showing right now, but I've had some problems where I'm trying to put a tape in and it won't hook. And then sometimes I'll hit the button and it won't eject and then I'll just push on it a little bit and it'll pop open. So that's the only issue that I've ever really had with this. I'm actually pretty surprised with the quality and everything. It does have some warranty information on the back. You can contact somebody for warranty work, um, volume knobs work. I mean, everything feels like a little bit cheap, but it feels like a tape player. So nothing too crazy. I am going to show you a couple things about this. It does have some cool features. Like I said, it does have radio. So you can put your antenna up. You got AM, FM. You can turn the radio on. See, radio works pretty good. Uh, you heard a little bit of the speaker there as well. Let me turn that down. You can also put a USB stick in it. And so I have a USB stick right here. You can put that in. And if you put that on the USB setting, you see the green light comes on and it'll start, it'll start playing right away. So I just have some random sound samples on this on there right now, but that's basically what it is. And you can also put an, a micro SD card right here as well. So it'll do the same thing. And then you can go through your tracks and everything with the play, pause, selector buttons over here, play, pause, record, those types of things. Now you can record onto the USB stick as well, and I'll give you a example of what recording sound like here in just a second the only issue that i've had with the recording part is sometimes the tracks will actually you got to be careful that if you record multiple things on a usb stick it'll start like recording over maybe certain things and i don't know why it does that but it will so that's something you need to kind of check so also it will leave if you have spaces between songs it'll actually leave different tracks in there so that's good but if you have like a mixtape and all the tape and all the songs are kind of connected together with no pause in between them it'll make it one long track so something to keep and then when you do voice recordings like i said when i've done voice recordings sometimes it records over the previous voice recording uh, so i don't know what that is and I don't know how you fix that or anything like that, but I've had issues with that. So if you do a short voice recording and then you um, do another one, it doesn't make a separate track sometimes and it'll record over that one. So you just kind of kind of make sure that you check into that. But it's really easy. All you have to do is it does say you have it on the USB setting up here, USB, which is all the way, um, looking at me here, all the way to the left and you hit the record button right here and when you hit record it will actually this will turn red and you'll be in record mode and it'll actually be recording to the usb stick now this will also record to a tape if you have some old tapes that are free and clear uh, then you just use the normal record button up here press record and it will start recording to the tape if you don't have a usb stick so a couple different options on how to record so that is pretty cool once you take this out you just have to remove it no big deal and you can see that it's kind of blinking because it is in usb mode if we go to tape mode it'll just shut off and then you have the radio on the end which i kind of showed you so it does have decent volume it's not crazy and the speaker quality isn't anything to talk about but it works and it, you, at least you can demo all through your tapes or listen to your recordings with no problem you know the, there's not like awesome audio quality or anything like that but it's just what it is it's a little tape recorder that you can hear 
and just kind of go over what you're recording, those types of things. Now, when you're recording, the uh, quality is actually pretty decent. Now, you gotta remember that if your tapes are low quality or you're recording stuff a long time ago, that you're gonna have some feedback or things like that if that's the way it recorded. If it records unquality, it's going to uh, be not a quality recording when you're you know, duplicating it again. So uh, just know that you know it's not gonna be perfect. I saw a lot of reviews about different sound quality issues, but like I said, if you're recording a tape, you probably recorded that off something else, so you already have recorded it over like two times, and so the quality is degrading every time you're putting it on some kind of new media, but it is nice to be able to easily put it on, you know, a thumb drive or SD card. That way you can throw it into your computer. And if there's some kind of, you know, recordings that you wanted and you want to make them digital, this is an easy way to get that done. So, and it's really easy. Like I said, if you have a tape, um, let's see if I got an old tape here. Like I said, I was happened to go through all my stuff and ever since I was a little kid, I, I wanted to hear songs. I, I've had favorite songs, and so I, had, I remember I had a Sony like boombox, and I would put a tape in, and I would record my favorite songs off the radio, and then I'd be able to listen to them all day or listen in whenever I wanted to. And so I would put all these mixtapes together, and that was kind of the DJ in me then. And... I saved a lot of those tapes and amazingly they still sound okay today uh, so this is a tape if you've never seen a tape like I said this is one of my new jams of course new jams is probably from the 1990s <laughs> but you just throw this tape in here like this it actually goes in upside down you give it a good push and like I said that's when sometimes let's see yeah it's ejecting fine let's see See, but if you push it right in that corner, it'll it'll go in every time. But like I said, you got to make sure. That, and then, like I said, when you eject, it's coming right out. Give it a good push, and everything's good there. So, I'm not gonna play these for you because I don't want any copyright issues. But just know that they do play. They sound like a tape, and everything's good to go there. Other than that, let's put this down. You kind of heard how everything sounded with the. Uh, royalty free music that I had off the USB. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my computer. I've already pre recorded some things, so I'm going to go ahead and play those off my laptop to let you know how they sound. I did record three different tracks to make sure everything was working and recorded, and it actually transfers your cassette to the MP3 format. Absolutely does. Quality is pretty decent, like I said. It's just going to depend on the decency of the quality of your actual tape going to the, uh, the USB card or the flash drive. So but I did record some microphone to test the microphone and see how audio recordings work when you're just using the microphone to a flash drive or a micro SD card, it's gonna be the same. And so we'll go ahead and play this. I have it playing on my computer speakers, of course. So you can take a quick l listen. What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with a quick microphone test on the SM336, the AM FM radio cassette recorder. Not only does it record, but it also can change transfer your cassette tapes to MP3 type files straight to a SD card, so or a SD card or a flash drive. So uh, this is a quick microphone test. I'm about uh, I would say 18 inches away from the microphone and talking at a normal level. So there's my test. It really sounds really good. It actually sounds a little worse if you try to get really close to the microphone. Like if the microphone is up on top right here in this corner. And so if you're like talking into it like this, not the way you, you want to do it. Just have it normal. I would say 12 to 18 inches away from you and just talk normal. That's the kind of quality you will get. And I thought that was pretty decent. So if you want to do some audio recordings and just record yourself, I wouldn't say it's going to be anything fantastic, but if you're just taking notes or you just, like I said, want to audio record your voice, record some notes or things like that, it, it is excellent. Some little dictation for things you want to remember later. It's excellent for that. And no problem at all. I thought the quality is good enough for that. So no problem there. You could also record some background things or whatever, and everything will get on there pretty good. I 
When you're recording tapes to the USB drive, it was no problem, like I said, and we'll go over that really quick before I let you go. The only issue that I did have is sometimes it was recording over, like I said, my voice recordings. If I, if I tried to erase it and then I'd put a new file on there, it would just like make a recording over it, which was kind of weird. So I don't know how to fix that. Also, if I put musical tracks, it would just play the musical tracks and it wouldn't find my recordings. So I don't know if I have to put them in different files or things like that, but just something to think about there as well. I would so kind of keep your musical tracks separate from your recordings. So I would have a US flash, a flash drive with just maybe music that you want to plug into that and listen to, or just have all your recordings on one. And I was able to track through all the recordings, but like I said, once I put a musical track on the same USB, stick when I plug it into this you will find them on your computer but when I plugged them into this it would not uh, different differentiate those and I would only find my musical tracks and I couldn't like skip to my recordings so without that you can't really listen to your recordings on there so I would just do all recordings let it do recordings for you and it will make separate you know recording one recording two recording three recording four it will track them out like that uh, easily when you're doing that. So uh, I can do a quick demonstration. Just I'll put this tape in. I'm not going to let you hear it recording, but I'll just show you that it is working. So all you do is put your tape in. You're going to put your USB stick in the other side. You're going to make sure that it is on tape. So it is on tape. You're going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the volume down because like I said, I, I'm not going to listen to music, but I will show you that it is easy as just pressing some buttons. So you will press play on your recording and then all you got to do is hit record here and you can see that it turned red. That means you are recording this tape as it plays and that's it. And when you're done, you just hit stop and it will stop recording as well. So it's as simple as that. No problem. Like I said, you just press play, press record. The record button comes on and you are recording this as you go. Now you do have to listen to it and once it records the whole tape, it will go on to the USB stick, but you have to play it as it goes. There's no way to make it speedy or anything like that. So it could take some time to actually record all your tapes if you're trying to do something like that and put them on digital. but. It works absolutely like I said the quality is pretty decent you heard the playback on the mic playback on the audio recording is pretty similar so it's just good enough like I said if you just wanted to record yourself same thing all you got to do is just press record and you talk into the mic that's it that's it it's really really simple all right, everybody, let's wrap this up with some positives and negatives. And we're gonna start with price point for a positive because at $39.99, I think that's a good value for this. It is a pretty simply made item, but it's also something that is kind of retro, that it's kind of hard to find a decent one or a good one. If you buy like a name brand Sony Walkman, but you're buying it used, you don't know the condition that it's gonna come when you get it. You know, things might not work on it, the, the drive system might run a little slow, things like that. So, and even for those old Sony Walkmans, you're gonna be paying a premium. They're, they start at maybe at the least, I probably wanna say $25, all the way up to $80. So it's crazy what they want for these used tape players. So. I don't think they're making a comeback, but if you find some old tapes or you want to listen to some of your old tapes, I think this is a good option for this. I think that the item is pretty handy, pretty reliable in my opinion so far for me. I, I know some items might have some issues um, coming out of the factory or those types of things, so I can never predict that, but my item so far has been pretty cool, worked really good. I love that you can use batteries or it has an AC plug that is a positive for me because that also makes it portable. So you can take it with you around the house or wherever you want to go. It's really easy to use. Simple buttons, uh, simple recording options. So you just press play on the cassette, press record on the button, and it's going to record to that MP3 uh, format on that flash drive or the micro SD card. It is a micro SD card. I don't know if I pointed that, pointed that out earlier, but that's what it is. 
and it's really easy to use. It also could be used for voice uh, dictation if you want to just talk into it, you know, record some notes or some ideas or however you want to use that part of it, record a conversation in the background, those types of things. You can. It, it, the microphone works pretty good. You can be a decent, you know, amount of distance behind that microphone and it's going to work pretty good, pick up a lot of things and the quality is okay. So I'm okay with that. And you know, the speaker is okay. It's nothing fantastic, but it's enough to play back, listen to whatever you need to listen to and just, um, you know, be able to listen to your recordings. Uh, some of the cons, the only thing I have was that ejection door that kind of sticks sometimes, or maybe it won't close if you don't push it in hard enough. So, you know, a little nitpicky, but um, you know, something something there about that. Could go into the negatives. The speaker is nothing to be crazy about. Like I said, it's just enough for playback and to be able to listen to things. Uh, the audio recording is okay. I'm not saying it's fantastic, but it is good enough to transfer your things. And I think that's just enough. If you want to take some of your old items and transfer it, the quality isn't going to be anything crazy. I'm telling you that right now because you're already taking something that was recorded and putting it on another recording, you know? So the quality is already kind of degraded. So it's okay. You know, it's, it definitely works to just transfer stuff. It's not going to be great quality, but if you just want to transfer it to a digital format so you can listen to it or have it forever, because I don't know how long tapes last, you're going to have it. Or maybe you can't find a tape player uh, in the future and you're going to have all those recordings on digital now and you'll be able to use them in your computer or whatever we have in the future. So good good there. And then last con or pro is, you know, portability. Some people are going to argue that this isn't really portable because it's not like waterproof. It's not sunproof, those types of things. Uh, weather resistant or anything like that. It is pretty simply made. I think if you had it in the hot sun, it might damage it. Or if you get it wet, you probably damage it. So uh, how portable is it? It's portable enough to take, put it in the garage, take it to your back porch, put it under the umbrella, or in some shade and you should be able to listen to it no problem not worry about it you know melting or anything in the sun or warping any of the parts inside so it is portable enough but some people might argue that just a little bit all right one last thing that I wanted to point out here is the size of the micro SD card you can use or the USB flash drive that you're going to use it says in the instructions between 4 to 32 gigs you don't want to use anything bigger than that just because it's going to have issues formatting that so 4 to 32 gig in the instructions won't be able to put large amounts on it but you will be able to transfer those to something larger if you'd want to via your computer or things like that so just use a you know a 32 gig should be plenty to record you know a lot of tapes on or things like that and then you can just transfer that to your computer or to a bigger hard drive or flash drive uh, in the future and it's really no problem there. So just wanted to point that out too. Other than that, I think that's all I have for you on the SM336. Thank you for tuning in. It's been DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. I got plenty of more videos coming to you, more valued items, more items, all kinds of stuff, tutorials. So stay tuned to this channel and thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.